Hi, and welcome back to Tammy's Home Tips. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to do a blackout for your arched window. I don't know if you're anything like me, but I really don't like sleeping in a bright room, and I don't like waking up in the sun when it's like 6 a.m. So, I love a blackout room to sleep really well, and I didn't just want anything that was just kind of blah looking or ordinary. And so I made my own and I'm going to show you how to do that. It's no so and it's easy to do. And if you don't mind, please support the channel by subscribing. It doesn't cost a thing. Just sign in and subscribe and like. All right, let's get to it. So for this project, I'm going to be using styrofoam board. Um, also like a template paper, but you can use newspaper instead if that's what you have. I'm going to be using also the stapler, an upholstery stapler, a box cutter, scissors, a pen, glue gun, and of course you're going to need some material. And if you happen to have a straight edge, go ahead and pull that out too. It wouldn't hurt to have that as well. Now the first thing I'm going to do is take my template paper and push it into the space and just try to make a crease all the way around without um, losing the, the structure of the space of course. And I just want to really make the impression on the paper and you'll see how that looks like. And we're going to take that and cut that out and uh, that we'll be using to trace onto the foam board. And really foam board is the best thing to use. It's easy to cut through and it also prevents transfer of heat or cold. So if the sun is beating in outside, it'll prevent that. So now I'm going to take my box cutter and my straight edge just to get a nice edge for the bottom. Also, if you're not working on a workstation, I would recommend just extending your box cutter blade out just like a half an inch just to get your line going and then I will, like me, I will be cutting the rest of it in an upright position. As you can see here, I cut it the rest of the way through with the longer blade. Unfortunately, I didn't get very good video of this, but uh, you obviously get the idea. You just have to cut through the whole fullness of the board. So I'm keeping it, of course, in the same orientation. That I know is my front, and I I'm going to do it like that because the shape on both sides are going to be a little different. Nothing is perfectly symmetrical. so. That's how I have just kept it just the way I took it out as far as the template goes. And now I'm just cutting out a piece of material that I'm going to be using to upholster the front side of this. And I'm going to just staple that in. I always like working with excess material because it helps me to pull on the material and get some tautness for upholstery. So um, I don't recommend just cutting off all the extra material right away. We will be cutting off that excess here in just a little bit. And the key to upholstering is creating small wrinkles in between the tension points. And now that we're done securing the front part of our upholstery, we can go ahead and cut off the excess fabric. The next step is to cut two inch strips of fabric 
So this is the length of fabric that I needed, but yours might obviously be different depending on the size of your window. Um, you would want to cut a strip that has at least five inches of fabric more than the length of your, your opening. So here I'm just making some piping out of material. Of course I'm making some sharp creases with my fingers to try to really make it a nice clean look. And then I'm taking my glue gun and I'm going to just glue it together so that it'll keep that shape and I'll be placing that on the front side. But I'm actually going to be making six of these. Now you can make more or less according to your preference or you could just leave this piping off all together. It's not required. You could just make it simpler than I've done. But I like a little design for mine so here I've made some piping so that I can add some design to my blackout. So I'm just laying it out here so I can see you know exactly where I want to put everything before I start securing and I have to confess I did not measure anything this is all by eye and I'm sure I could have done a better job but it is what it is <laughs> so don't look at this too closely please it's not going to be perfect but I don't think anybody's going to be looking at it too closely in my house of course on YouTube that could be another story but we'll leave that for another time anyways or for the comments below <laughs> anyways this is what it's going to look like when I'm done and I've pulled back the two side pipings because that's going to be covering the other ones and I don't want this thickness here at the bottom because of course I want it to be snug but not too snug so I just used the glue gun to seal the edge there and of course I'm trying to prevent all that bulkiness so I'm just going to staple this in and I'll be taking the two side piping pieces and laying them over the top of that so that it will cover that and it will look really nicely finished without all the bulk so that's just what I'm doing here so on the back side here I'm just going to staple those two pieces onto the back side and then it'll look really nicely finished and this other little bit here is just I'm making a tab to make it easy to pull out because if these things get really snug in there it's really hard to pull out so this is just to make it really easy and you'll see how I use it, this a little bit later in the video and of course I can just go around now and finish off that piping bringing it all in stapling it in and then we'll be doing the next and last step here next. Now for the backing, I'm just going to cut a piece of material slightly bigger than the actual size of the blackout and uh, I'll be using that for my backer. This last part is essentially a lot of folding and stapling and of course we're trying to get some nice edges so you might have to pull a staple out here and there which I did do have to do but you want it to be taut as well and you know you're gonna just kind of work it around as you're going around but if you have to rework an area just pull the staples out and redo it it's actually pretty easy to pull out a foam board so this is really easy material to work with and it's it'll look really nice and anyways this is the back side but I hate to leave it just unfinished on the back side because it is still a window and you can see that from outside and although it is on the back of my house I still take some pride in what I'm doing so I definitely wanted to finish it up all the way around and that's what I've done here So this is what it looks like when you're done. You just make sure that you have good solid and crisp folds at the edge and then you just staple. And if you need to redo it, just redo those parts. And now this is the front side and let's go ahead and get it in and see how it works. 
And this is just a live demo so you can see how this really works. It's just a really great solution. It's super lightweight. Just if you like sort of things like this, if you like projects like this, solutions for around your home, be sure to like and subscribe and turn on the notifications for my channel. I'll have a lot more videos like this coming your way. So thanks for watching Tammy's Home Tips.